Okay, YouTube, welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. Uh, now we're Luck of the Irish uh, achievement run. Go ahead and get started. Um, let me see. We were colonizing, we were building things, we were getting some claims. I was thinking of getting another claim on England, which I think we'll get started with right away. Um, come on, come on. There we go. Grab the to claim, and I'm going to go for probably Cumbria. Do it. I'm also going to go ahead and get a claim on Scotland. Um, which, let me see, four tax, two tax. I'm going to go for Ayrshire. Fabricate a claim on Ayrshire. Again, not necessarily that I'm going to use it right now, but in the near future. We'll most likely be heading over there relatively soon. I also want to get a claim on Staticona, but I don't have a diplomat for that right now. Okay. Um, and I mentioned last episode, oh, I don't think I'm going to need religious ideas. I'm not having any problems converting people. What I need to realize is that when I go after England and Scotland, I'm going to be dealing with Protestantism. So uh, I am going to need to, maybe not need to, but the religious ideas will be quite useful if I do go that way. Some food for thought, something to keep in mind. Um, okay. Now I also talked about last episode. I didn't know what I could put on my channel other than kind of Europa Universalis 4. And um, so I did go through kind of my, my list, my, my Steam games, take a peek. Some of these are games that uh, are a little bit older. I mentioned some already. I'm not going to repeat the ones I already mentioned. Some of these are a little bit older, but I never played them. Uh, and some of them I, I love playing and I'm not bad at. And some of them I love playing and I'm absolutely abysmal at. So, like, for example, the Kerbal Space Program. I would love to do a, a KSP series. Uh, I've launched probably 20 rockets. I've done one kind of uh, campaign version of the game myself. Sweden, Bohemia, and the Hansa. Alright, sure. I'm not coming to help you, though. Um, Grand Fleet. I do want to construct a Grand Fleet. Oh, it's going to take me so long to construct a Grand Fleet, though. Is that against the Ottomans? 104. I don't think I can do that quite yet, no. Alright, no decent mission. Um, yeah, I've done one kind of career mode, or maybe, I think two career mode games. But I'm, I'm no Scott Manley. I am absolutely abysmal at Kerbal Space Program. I find myself doing a lot of things, like I'll watch Scott Manley do something and I'll be like, oh, I'll do the same thing, but I'll take a little bit more gas and maybe an extra rocket. And, you know, so I make a rocket that's like twice the size of his. I've even used uh, like mods that tell you how much delta V and thrust you have. And I make rockets that have the same amount of thrust uh, or, or the same thrust to weight ratio, more Delta V, like by a lot, by you know, 30 or 40 percent more Delta V than what Scott Manley did. And, um, I'll you know, he'll go to Minmus, land, have enough gas to go check out four or five biomes, come back, you know, and then I'll, I'll so I'll go with my rocket that's bigger with more fuel. Uh, I'll launch, I'll get out to Minmus, I'll land. And then I'll run it. I won't, you know, I'll have enough gas to get into orbit around Minmus, but that's it. You know, I don't even have fuel. I could maybe leave Minmus orbit, but I can't even get back to Kerbin. So, you know, I, like I said, I studied computer science. I didn't study astrophysics and, uh, and orbital physics. And I'm not, I'm not good at all that stuff. But, you know, one of the things I like to watch people play games that they're not all that good at. Uh, as well as people, you know, I like watching people who are really good at what they're doing as well. I kind of like both. I find the, uh, I find entertainment in both. So I'd like to do a Kerbal Space Program uh, series just so you can laugh at, at how, how horrible I am. And uh, maybe learn something from my mistakes. Uh, Bastion, I never played Bastion. I have it. I've heard so many great things about it. But I'm a, I, my brain is always doing something. 
you know, my job involves a lot of multitasking. I'm always looking at, you know, four or five things at one time. I'm always doing four or five things at one time. And so for me to sit down and play like a, like a video game, I would always put a YouTube video on, or I would, you know, put on a Netflix, watch some TV or, or watch a movie or something while I was playing. And for a game like Bastion, I mean, that takes away so much being a, a, a kind of narrative-driven game. And so I never really played it, because I was waiting to be in the mood where I'm, you know, on vacation or something, where I'm relaxed and just doing one thing. But the problem is, even on vacation, my brain is just conditioned to just multitask all the time. But if I'm making a video series, I'm obviously not going to be trying to um, ascertain what's being said over top of a TV show or a movie or a, a different YouTube series I'm watching because that's that's all I'll be doing is playing the game. So I might do a, a Bastion. I, uh, I also really like tower defense games. Uh, so one of the ones, and one of my favorite tower defense games is uh, Defense Grid. I know Defense Grid 2 is on the way. So I'd probably do, uh, I could probably do some Defense Grid videos. I would, I would be okay with that. I would enjoy that. Um, look at you. You are not going to be able to win this. You're going to lose your kingdom there, Creep. Um, Company of Heroes and the expansions. Company of Heroes 2 from the Russian side. I had a hard time. I think it's because it plays a little bit differently. And I was like, I just wanted more of the original Company of Heroes. Uh, but I, I could do like a playthrough of all the Company of Heroes. I'm, I am a perfectionist, so every time, I've probably played through the, the campaign a dozen times. And every single time I do, I, I try and get, you know, all of the medals on all of the missions. And some of the missions, that's very difficult. So I might do a playthrough of, Com of Company of Heroes, but I wouldn't go for gold on everything. I, you know, I would go for it on some of the easier missions. I'd probably go for gold, but some of those like super hard missions, I don't think I would... Um, I'd probably say this is how you do it, and to just not bother. Simply because it's just so hard. It takes so long to get all the medals on, on some of the harder missions. Uh, one of them, I spend like two hours just laying down traps. I finish the mission before it, and the, the missions are sequenced. So however you leave the mission before is how you start you know, the, mission, the following mission, the, the one that has this ridiculous gold medal. Or not gold medal, but uh, ridiculous medal of honor or whatever medal it is. And so I spend like two hours laying down traps and building defenses and getting prepared. And then you still have to try the next mission like a dozen times to to manage to pull off the, the fancy metal. And there's a couple of missions that are like that. They're just they're ridiculously hard to get all the metals. And I've done it so many times. And it takes so long that I don't I don't think I would put it in a YouTube video. But I might do a playthrough just on those missions and say this is how you do it. I'm not doing it. If you want to do it, go ahead, have fun. Have at her. Um So that's on the list is a company of heroes. So there's some other strategy games. Medieval 2 Total War. I love Medieval 2 Total War. I am... I don't like the, the battles. I don't like the like, real-time tactics part. I like the strategy part. So I, I generally just have those for auto-resolve. Uh, Civ 4, I like Civ 4. Civ 5, I, I had a hard time getting into again. I really like some of the new mechanics and some of the updated stuff, but I had a hard time getting into it. And for that reason, I don't think I do a Civ 5 series, but I might do a Civ 4 game. Again, I'm not that great. I play it for fun on like the second or third easiest level. And then there's a couple of RPGs like Fallout New Vegas, and there's a couple of new ones that just came out um, that I never really played because, again, it's you know they're kind of story driven, and I'm always distracted. Uh, so I might. Give those a try. But that's kind of a list tentatively of games that I could play and put up on my channel. We'll see which ones of them I, that I end up doing. But if you have any comments on any of them, or you have any ideas, you think, well, that's stupid, don't do that, or 
whatever, let me know. And uh, I'll think about it. We'll see what else we're going to do. But KSP, I'm definitely going to do a KSP. As I said in the last video, I'm definitely going to do a, at least one Prison Architect video series. Um, and other than that, we'll have to see how it goes. So I'm moving in here. I'm going to go to war with the Iroquois. I want uh, Susquehanna. And uh, I'll probably take Juanita as well. Maybe Seneca. Seneca is worth three. I start kind of slicing them in half here. Yeah, that'll be worthwhile. So that's uh, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Let me. It's them and the Shawnee. So how are they looking in terms of military strength? How many people do I need to dedicate to this war? Eleven thousand and. 5,000. So 16,000. I'm going to be marching in with 40 right here. That'll be enough. To get into position, you can actually... Uh, you are going to go in via Oneida. 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 You can come in via Seneca. And then I'll have probably one march in. You can go via Susquehanna, and you can deal with the 6,000 Shawnee. It was 6,000 that Shawnee had, right? 5,000. Yeah, you can deal with the 5,000 that Shawnee has. See, hopefully I can see their military. Oh, and I have these 10,000, too. Um, you can come in via Lenape, I guess. If you can go there, you can come here. It's faster. Okay, and I'm going to give the guy going after the Shawnee, he's going to get the other general, and ready to move. Okay, so I have 50,000 going up against these 16, it should be an easy battle to win, even if the Shawnee manages to call in another ally, uh, it shouldn't, shouldn't be too difficult. And then we'll just siege it down, and I'm going to go after probably Susquehanna and Seneca. Yeah. That's probably what I'll do to Seneca and Susquehanna. Uh, but that'll be for the future episode for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.